How do we start? Hundreds of students enroll each semester at the Latino Center of the Midlands. The recent grant received from Tyson Foods will be used for education classes as they continue working to enhance the quality of life of those in the Latino community. And after they have finished their three levels of English or their GED, we, we try to help them out for, to go to the community college, uh, to continue a career, or to keep growing. Keeping classes affordable is a key ingredient in the center's ability to last for so long. Classes are cheap. Not like other places where they have to pay more for the classes. Then we help them not just with classes, but if they need rental assistance, we help them with that too. When you're a teacher, you it works both ways. You're learning from them, and and also you help them learn. So I think that's the best part of being here, part of the Latino Center as the team manager. I get to know a lot of people, a lot of students, and help them out wherever they wanted to direct their future. Padilla says more than 50 percent of the Latino population in Omaha does not have their GED. And that the center is more than just a place to learn, it's also a place where they build confidence and start their path for success. They like progress, they're hardworking, they're responsible, um, and I love that about the people that, that are here with us. The people. <laughs> I love the people. They are always um, trying to learn. She adds that only 13 percent of people in Omaha speak Spanish. Classes are offered by semester and they have morning, afternoon and evening classes. In Omaha, Danielle Davis, 3 News Now.